Oh dear. Oh dear, Alexis is here with the weather and the bad puns. It's not really paddling weather, is it? I don't know why a deer would want to go into the sea. Well, actually, the, the sea temperature is not dissimilar to the land temperature. In fact, 17 degrees in the water, 19 Celsius today, oh. the high. So maybe that really explains that difference. it. But, yeah, uh, it just yeah. felt like a little dip, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a bit cloudy today, Alan. We are going to see a lot of cloud over the next few days. Andy Pattenden took this shot of the River Avon near Ringwood this morning. Erin Prattley took this photograph of the sunflowers in Abingdon. Thank you. And Trevor Moorcraft captured the harvest and the crop circle near Winchester. So today we had large areas of cloud, but it did start to thin and break as we head through this evening. And we are seeing some late evening sunshine. This was the scene first thing this morning before the clouds started to arrive at Hailing Island. We'll have very similar conditions through the day tomorrow and through this week in general. There will be lots of cloud. That's not to say there won't be some sunshine as well. Clear sky developing overnight tonight for a time and then the cloud will start to build in once again so thickening cloud may be the odd spot of light rain and drizzle and a low tonight of between 10 and 13 degrees so tomorrow there will be a breeze coming in from the west or the northwest bringing in a lot of cloud and some outbreaks of light rain and drizzle for some not everyone will see the rain it will be a, there will be a lot of dry weather with some brighter spells more likely down towards the southwest so parts of Wiltshire and Dorset seeing the lion's share of the sunshine through the afternoon with a high tomorrow of around 20 degrees. As I said, there is that brisk west to northwesterly wind. So on the inshore waters from Selseybill to Lyme Regis, the winds are west or northwest, three or four, occasionally five at first, and the sea state is slight or moderate. Overnight tomorrow night, we'll have a lot of cloud once again, maybe some patchy drizzle. One or two clear spells will develop during the early hours of Wednesday morning. And there will be milder temperatures tomorrow night with lows of 13 to 14 degrees. So a lot of cloud once again on Wednesday. We will see that cloud start to thin and break for western areas during the afternoon with the cloud moving eastwards. But then we have this next weather feature. It's a band of rain which will move in during the course of Thursday. There's still some uncertainty. We're expecting it to skirt north and westwards so it will affect some areas and produce some more persistent rain even some heavy showers with some sunny intervals as well so temperatures are below their seasonal average over the next few days they start to rise with a southerly breeze developing as we head towards the weekend 24 come saturday and into sunday still a lot of uncertainty at the by the end of the week friday saturday and sunday we're expecting maybe some patchy rain over the weekend generally lots of cloud this week temperatures below the seasonal average initially and then rise above the seasonal average by the weekend. Alan. Alexis, thank you. And tomorrow we'll be meeting some lotto millionaire winners who, instead of living the high life, have been picking up litter. That's tomorrow, same time, same place. Join us if you can. Bye-bye. Good night.